Welcome to Sunday Science, where we show you how to do experiments with things that you have in your own home. This is Nat. And this is Hazel. And today we're going to be separating the different colours in a felt tip pen using a process known as chromatography. Now, chromatography is a method for separating the different components in a mixture by using something in a solution. So today what we're going to be doing is using water to separate the different dyes in a felt tip pen. You will need felt tip pens clear container such as a glass or a beaker, water, coffee filters, scissors and some clips. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is take your clear container and fill it about half full with water, just normal tap water is fine, and then pop it off to the side. The next thing you need to do is prepare your coffee filters. So if you take one of your coffee filters and then you need to cut the paper into some thin strips that you can fit into your container that you're using. So the next thing you're going to need to do is to draw some large dots at the bottom of your filter paper with felt tip pens. Now you can choose to do as many colours as you want but it's best to start with maybe just one or two to give you a chance to try this experiment out. Okay, so the next step is to take your prepared filter papers and actually clip them into your container with the bottom of the filter paper in the water. And that's it. Now, the reason that chromatography works is because the different dyes in the felt tip pens, which are separated by the water, move at different speeds up the filter paper. And the longer you leave the filter paper in the water, the higher these will travel. So why don't you have a go? Try some different colours of felt tip pens and then send us the results through one of our social media channels. And don't forget, leave comments below.